Among the many different intriguing mysteries the universe presents, there exists what are called white dwarfs. Follow me as we discover the reasons behind the emergence of such astral bodies. We're all familiar with our sun. We know that our planet Earth rotates around it, that the sun provides thermal energy or simply heat for us, and is essential to our existence on Earth. Of course, without the sun, Earth would merely be a freezing planet roaming in the barren darkness of the universe. Is that too gloomy for you? Well, fret not, and thank your lucky stars the sun isn't going anywhere soon. So it's all copacetic for us. Not to be cynical, but we surely won't live to see the death of the sun anyway. Pretty sad, don't you think? And so, unfortunately, as all things in existence, everything must come to an end, and so does our sun. No worries, though. Such an occurrence will only happen after billions of years in time, but it will most definitely happen, long after we've relished the warmth of our sun and our humankind perished and went extinct. Well, that got a bit dark, but I digress. Looking at this from a universal scale, stars the size and mass of our sun will quickly die out. The same might not go for other stars. So what exactly happens when they die, and how is it that they turn into white dwarfs? Well, to answer that, we need to dig a little bit deeper. 97% of stars end their lives as white dwarfs. This can happen in two different ways. Small stars like red dwarfs burn out slowly over trillions of years until they eventually turn into white dwarfs. Bigger sized stars take a different route. For convenience sake, let's take our sun for example. Imagine the sun like a gigantic oven, a pressure cooker that fuses hydrogen atoms into helium atoms through a process which is called nuclear fusion. A reaction through which two or more different atomic nuclei come so close to each other that they result in the formation of one or more different atomic nuclei and or subatomic particles. In another 5 billion years, the hydrogen at the core of the sun will be exhausted as it completely drained by the nuclear fusion. So the sun instead starts burning the helium into other heavier elements. This in turn causes the sun to shed its outermost layers, lose half of its mass and form a spectacular planetary nebula. What remains of it will be its previous core, thus a white dwarf is conceived with a diameter 100 times less than its former self and with a volume comparable to Earth but still half the mass it once was. Which equivalently means that they are very dense, with the surface gravity 350,000 times that of gravity on Earth. They are also steaming hot, up to 40 times hotter than our own sun. This is due to their very low activity, meaning that heat is trapped inside of the white dwarf and can only escape through its outer layer. Furthermore, the only way that energy could be transferred in empty space is through thermal radiation, which is so ineffective that white dwarfs can take up trillions of years to cool down. According to some estimates, white dwarfs are expected to shine for more than 10 billion times longer than the universe has ever existed. Thus, a white dwarf will be the last light the universe has ever seen before heat death.